The dual scan protocol is the preferred technique for fully edentulous cases for three main reasons. First, it saves money because it eliminates the need to create an expensive duplicate denture with radio-opaque materials such as barium sulfate. Secondly, it saves time because a new denture does not have to be created. And thirdly, it's convenient for the patient and the dentist. There is no need to physically ship models or the denture to implant concierge or a lab. All implant concierge needs is a well-fitting, hard, relined denture. Now, let's review the simple procedure. First, create a bite registration using blue mousse or similar material. Step two, remove any moisture and inspect for any soft relined material. Implant Concierge highly recommends and prefers a chair side hard reline. Ensure that the intaglio surface of the denture fits the soft tissue intimately. If a chair side hard reline is not an option, then continue to follow the dual scan protocol. But you will also need to ship an accurate master cast to Implant Concierge. This will add shipping cost and time. If the denture has a soft reline and a chair side hard reline is not an option, an alternative is to use a product called Green Mousse, which is a radio opaque, light body material. Be sure to trim any flashing and limit the Green Mousse only to the intaglio surface. Step three, adhere six to eight one millimeter x-ray markers to the denture. You can purchase a box of 110 x-ray markers directly from Implant Concierge. Peel and stick three to four x-ray markers on the buckle surface at varying axial levels. Be random. Here's a helpful idea. Place two of the stickers on the first premolar cusp to help you quickly determine restorative space and if bone reduction will be required to accommodate the required restorative height. Now, peel and stick three to four x-ray markers on the lingual or palatal surface. It's okay if the sticker protrudes over the edge. Trim it or just leave it. Step four, prepare the cone beam CT unit for an object acquisition scan. Each manufacturer provides a specialized surface or platform for a denture scan. Place a foam block on the cone beam CT platform to create space between the denture and the platform. Then place the denture with the x-ray markers on the foam block in the same orientation as it will be worn in the mouth. For example, because this is a maxilla denture, the teeth are down. Step five, take a cone beam CT of the denture. If allowed, select a single arch scan, approximately six centimeters and at 0.4 voxels. A high resolution scan is not desired or necessary. Step six, take a cone beam CT scan of the patient wearing the denture with the x-ray markers. Do not move the x-ray markers. You can either scan both arches or just the arch of interest. Once again, a high resolution scan is not desired. Use the bite registration to ensure that the denture is positioned accurately and stays in place during the cone beam CT scan. Place three cotton rolls in the vestibule to create space between the soft tissue and the denture. Be careful not to move the x-ray markers. Now take the image. Before releasing the patient, ensure that there are no black spaces between the denture and the soft tissue on the scan. It is critical to have an intimate fit if you want a stable and accurate surgical guide. Step seven, export both cone beam CT scans to your desktop as a DICOM3 multi-file. Save the denture only scan as last name denture. Next, save the cone beam CT scan of the patient wearing the denture as last name. All cone beam CT units are required by law to allow DICOM3 export. If you do not know how to export the DICOM, reference the Implant Concierge FAQ section or call us for assistance. We can email you your specific manufacturer's DICOM export instructions. Step eight, before uploading the DICOM folders, you must first compress or zip both folders. This is very fast and easy. On your mouse, right click the folder and select the send to option and then select compress or zip. Step nine, once both DICOM folders are compressed, proceed to your patient's profile page on Implant Concierge. Then press the red action button, Upload DICOM Files. 
be sure to select both compress folders and then hit the upload button. Follow the on-screen prompts and ensure that both files were uploaded successfully to Implant Concierge. Congratulations, your upload is complete. Implant Concierge will now start to work on your case. If there are any concerns, we will contact you promptly. If your denture is soft reline, don't forget to ship the master cast to Implant Concierge. If you have any questions or need help, please do not hesitate to call us at 866-977 2228 or email us at support at implantconcierge.com.